What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing the top 10 sneakers of 2018. This does not include designer shoes or anything like that. It is all sneakers from like Nike, Adidas, Vans, Converse, all those kinds of brands. I do have the power right here behind me, but they're all not right here. There's a little bit in here to throw you guys off while I'm going along because I don't want you guys to be able to guess exactly what it is from this power right here. This is going to kind of be in order, but kind of not. I think from five to 10, I'm not going to have an order, but from five down to one, I might try to pick an order for that. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm doing an end of the year giveaway right now i know it's a few days after the end of the year but it's still going on there's a few days left i'm giving away some off-white socks some palm angels some supreme to backpack all kinds of stuff the rules for that giveaway are you have to subscribe to the channel you have to follow me on instagram and you have to comment down below but the easiest way to go ahead and track that and kind of put your entries in is the link in the description down below it's the top link in the description you can basically track when the giveaway is over how many entries there are and if you're qualified for all of them i wanted to do unboxing the top 10 sneakers of the year because i didn't want to just show you guys a lot of people have done videos where they're showing you their opinions on the top shoes of the year but to me i felt like unboxing would be better so a lot of these shoes are brand new it's gonna be the first opening experience there's a few that are mine that are used i'm gonna be opening as well so without further ado we're gonna get over here i'm gonna show you guys me unboxing the top 10 shoes of 2018 in my opinion let's go ahead jump into it. So coming in on the top end from 10 down to five, there's no particular order again. This shoe right here is one of the shoes that does not have crazy resale value. It's still sitting not as much online, but in store a little bit. And I actually have another pair that's on this rack over here. It did come out this year and I think it's a shoe. This silhouette shows up a good bit in this top 10. I don't know why. And I didn't even realize it until I was putting this list together. That this is one of the top silhouettes. You can see the box right here. This is a Nike Air Force One. And this one retails for $100. And I got it for retail at $100. And there's multiple colorways. As you you can see as we open this up we have the air force one utility right here now this one is in the white colorway there is an orange colorway right there that is actually my roommates this one does not come with much on the inside literally that's all you get is the shoes there's no extra laces or anything like that packaging and it's just like a star packaging right here nothing crazy there on the outside of the box it just has the size it says air force one 07 lv8 utility and this is a size 10 and a half retail 100 very simple box is black i was able to buy them at foot locker in some sort of neon yellow color I ended up taking those back because i tried to put outfits together it just wasn't working they were super bright but they were basically the same colorway as the off-white air force ones that just came out and i figured i'm gonna get these now i'm not gonna pay resale for those shoes and then i ended up doing a video where i let instagram control my sneaker shopping and they picked these for me and these ended up being one of the better colorways or the better shoes of the year just because one it's a simple silhouette two it has cool little details that make it stand out all white air force one is super clean they get dirty easily and to me it's either you keep them super dirty or you let them get beat up and these shoes right here i'm letting them get beat up just a little bit you got the Nike swoosh here. You got a little bit of the utility stuff there. And then on the back, you have this nice pull tab. It just looks a little bit different. It looks cool. Inside, there's no swoosh, just a little one right there. Just an easy shoe to wear. One that's very easily accessible. And that's why I wanted to put it in here. The materials are pretty decent. And if this said off-white, it would have sold out. It did sell a little bit. I think a lot of people are seeing how clean of a shoe it is. I get compliments when I wear them. My roommate gets compliments when he wears his. So that's why I had to put it on here. If you want to see the colorway that he got, it's this one right here. It is the same thing in orange. It's just very bright. Next on the list is one that most people probably wouldn't have expected for 2018 and that is a nike sv sbs were one of the shoes that just kind of made resale culture what it is i only really liked sbs for the fact that i skateboarded when i was younger and that was the only reason i bought them not because of sneaker culture i'm not an og sneakerhead i do enjoy sneakers i know a little bit of history on sneakers but i'm not an og sneakerhead i was not buying jordans from 1 to 12 1 to 13 whatever whenever i was younger i only have a few primary silhouettes of the shoes that i like to wear and mainly jordan one but a nike sb i think it is a staple for sneaker culture and to have them come back and have a little bit more buzz again people started wearing their older pairs you had travis scott you had virgil abloh you had so many different people who were wearing sbs again and it kind of built the hype back up now one of the shoes that could have been in contender for this one would be the nike sb concept the lobsters the purple shoe that just recently released but to me i wasn't in love with those as much as i was in love with these because if you guys know what shoe this is it is one of the classics that made me love specifically sbs and that is the tiffany dunk when i say that i mean i was into sbs for skateboarding but i wasn't into them for sneaker culture and the tiffany dunk was the one that got me into it for the sneaker culture and this was a release that happened this year because those released way back in the day these ones retailed at 100 there were three different colorways one of them was yellow ones were cr going crazy they had to shut down the releases this one right here actually didn't sell for too much and they're not going for too much over retail again the retail was 100 and there's two different colorways a white and a black and for me on my top 10 list it is going to be the black colorway i struck out on them on the nike sneakers app but i ended up getting them afterwards on stockx paid 
about 264. When you open it up, you have the Tiffany laces included in a bag that are on the side. I'm gonna pull the other one out. There's not much else that goes into the box. You have this cool little box paper right here. And of course, you have the pink Nike SB box on the outside, Nike SB. If you wanna check out the tag right there, these are a size 11. The one thing that I really liked about this shoe, and it's an attribute that you'll see on some of the other shoes on this list, is that it has a removable swoosh. And for some reason, that was just something that was very popularized, not popularized, but became popular in 2018 again. Because when you were a kid, you had shoes with Velcro that removes random things off the shoes, Spider-Man shoe, whatever. But these specifically have a removable metallic swoosh and it reveals the Tiffany underneath, as well as you have the nice materials on the outside. You have the metal tip aglets on the outside as well. And then it has the Tiffany diamond on the tongue and it says Nike SB. You have the Nike on the back that is in the Tiffany colorway. Overall, SBs are such a simple shoe. I think you can wear them with a lot of different things. And just for the skate culture, the sneaker culture, I think it was amazing that they came back this year. And I really was thinking we'd see a Nike off-white SB, but I feel like that window is kind of going out and that it probably won't happen now. But again, this was a clean shoe, a different of a silhouette to happen to be on this countdown list. If you guys didn't know, I had a pair of white ones that I bought for 50 bucks that were like the exact same as the white colorway of this. Ended up selling those and hooking one of you guys up for the same price I bought them for, for 50 bucks. Next on the list is going to be a shoe that I actually unboxed a few months ago that I don't have anymore. I ended up selling them, but I still wanted to put them on the list and that is a Nike Presto. Let's go ahead, cut back, show you guys me opening that up and cut back and talk about it here. And uh, let's see, we have a Nike box again. Oh shoot, did I just cut the box? Rip. We have a black Nike box. This looks like, if I had to guess, the Supreme Nike up tempos. That were pretty sick. We got Air Presto Mid, $200 retail, size 10. Wow, I actually really like the Presto and I don't have any. Ooh, dang, these are sweet. I know there was a pack of these that just came out. There's like three of them. There's like, do you see there's a pink one? Yeah. I think they're going for a little bit more. Then there's like an all black one, but I really like these. These are both actually fire, something I would wear. This is a nice switch up right here. Yeah, I don't know if I'd go out of my way to buy these personally. I don't, these had to be under 250 if those are like 250. So these Prestos actually released in a few different colorways and the one that I specifically liked the most was when I showed you the black colorway that had the little bit of the yellow or the lime color with it. The Prestos are such a classic silhouette of a shoe and I just think it's a cool little utility one. I ended up selling them because I was able to make a little bit of money on them. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and sell. Now that we're three in, the first Yeezy is gonna be on the list. I think Nike and Jordan brand kind of took over this year. I think the year before it was a lot of Adidas, but this year I feel like Jordan brand took over and uh, there were so many more unique colors colorways and things that came out for Nike this year. For me, with Yeezys, they just produced too many of the V2s. They produced too many colorways that didn't have any sort of meaning behind them. They're just colorways being flooded out. And I think that having the stories behind shoes is what you'll see in some of the shoes coming up is why that they're on the list. But for this specific one, this is the one Yeezy in the list. I was going to put the Yeezy 700 static, but I just, I didn't get them. And I just haven't been urging to go get them. The $300 retail price point, they kind of sold out. I wasn't in love with them enough to buy them and put them on this list. They just recently came out as well. But for this one, I actually was able to get these at the store for retail, $220, I believe. And this is the Yeezy Boost 350 Static. The 350 V2, of course. Open it up, the classic Yeezy box. It's got 350 on the top, Boost on the front. You pull it out and it has this tan paper. The packaging is very simple when it comes to Yeezys and you just open it up just like this. Pull out the Yeezy V2 Static right here. Nothing else really comes in the box. That's really it, it's the shoes and the paper. And then the front, you have the size tag and different things like that. So the other colorways that came out, they re-released some of the zebras, frozen yellows. They had so many different colorways. There's like that sesame. None of them stood out to me. And then when I saw these coming out and I was doing a video, I thought these are not bad. And then once I got them, I thought they were a lot better because the cream whites, they're just, they're very simple, but very easy to get dirty. These just have a little bit more uniqueness to them. You have a little bit of a translucent stripe right here to where you can see through it, translucent, transparent stripe. And so like, if you're wearing a different color of sock, it'd be cool to go ahead and be able to see what exactly sock you're wearing. If you're showing off some, I don't know, off white socks or something. Now we're down almost to number six. Coming in at number six is yet again, another Air Force One. If you cannot guess, buy this box right here. This is the Air Force One Travis Scott in the sale colorway. If you guys don't remember the year before the first colorway came out, they're selling for about $800, $1,000 at one point. They came down after these release because they were so similar. Outside of the box, super simple, says Air Force, white all around, there's nothing else really going on. Pull it out and the first thing that you're greeted with is a pair of the Travis Scott different swooshes. Now this specific one is a used pair. I actually never bought the sales and this is from a local store called ATL Addictions. They actually let me get this shoe for the specific video because I didn't have a video of me unboxing it. And I said, I would love to put these in here. Can I use it? And they gladly let me use it. Comes with three different swooshes actually. It has the flame swooshes, which there's one that's actually on the shoe right now. It has these quilted translucent kind of swooshes going on here. And then there is the standard metallic ones that are with the shoe. And this comes with it. I just think this is a cool little piece. I ended up selling 
my pair of the original ones. I paid 800 for them and I sold them for like 550, I think. I wore them a lot. So we'll pull out the first shoe here and you can see there is the classic metallic swoosh that comes with the shoe. We'll pull out the other pair as well. So apparently with this one, I think one of the swooshes got messed up right here. This is original. It kind of got messed up. So they put one of two of the flame ones on the inside. The sale colorway is basically the same as the original in my opinion. I don't know why they kind of released it like that. You have the grill on the front right here. You got the cactus jack going on here. Just some of the Travis Scott attributes that he's adding to it. The bottom is gum and then you just have the sale kind of canvas throughout the rest of it. Very clean, very simple. Otherwise, you just have this Air Force paper on the inside. I just like this shoe because the removable swooshes was one of the things that I really wanted and this was the first shoe for me to get that had it. And to be able to put the flame swooshes, to put the quilted swooshes, I just thought it was such a perfect shoe. The retail on these was 150, which is not bad for what you're getting with it. So again, number six on this one. I really loved it and I did put these over the Travis Scott Jordan 4s just because I personally liked these better and the silhouette of the shoe better. I'm not a four person. I just don't feel like I can pull them off that great. Number five is actually going to be another Air Force One. Now this is one that I told you guys was probably my favorite shoe of the year for a very long time. And you might know what this is by the box. Nike Air Force One. This shoe actually came out in February of this year and was the shoe that I just loved the absolute most. They have a black colorway as well. I had two pairs, ended up selling those. This pair is just a lot easier to wear. So when you open it up, first thing you're greeted with is the removable swooshes here. I do not have the paper for this box, so they will not be in here. But if you cannot tell, these shoes are so beat up. The outside of the box is just gray. That's literally it. This shoe actually came to me in a mystery box this year and I was very happy to get them because I wanted them. I never saw them in stores. I never kind of tracked the release, but then once I saw them, I was like, you know what? This would be a cool shoe to have and why not go ahead and keep them after I got them in the mystery box? As you can see, they come with removable swooshes. This one has more Easter colors. So it's like an off-white colorway of the shoe itself. When you pull out the different swooshes, you can add like a Easter yellow, an Easter blue, green, pink, and then they have the white ones as well. And the stripes are removable all the way around. Whereas the Travis Scott's, they are only removable with the swooshes. Also, this is leather compared to the canvas material, which is easier to clean, which I personally like. And this is just an everyday shoe for me. They also have a removable little patch on the tongue here. Clean shoe, so easy, so wearable. And that's why I wanted to put these on the list. Very simple unboxing for these. You do get the removable swooshes. And on the black colorway, they're like neon colors, like neon green, neon orange, I believe. There's a few different colors. The black ones just, I didn't like how they looked in comparison to these. And these, I think, look better with these color swooshes. Now let me go ahead and cut back to number four on the list. If you guys can guess what it is, I'm just going to go ahead and cut back real quick. Let's go. Oh, okay, so I'm home and I thought, let me just unbox this real quick before I actually get to show you in the video because I'm going to be holding up the box but not going ahead and showing you. So this will be the last thing that I show you before I show you the final five shoes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It's like 10.30 right now. This is the first pair I've gotten for retail and it is one of the best pairs I think to get for retail. So let's see, oh my, I've not seen these in person. I don't even know what they look like in person. Oh, grace me. Wow. <laughs> Oh, bro, look how sick these are. Now, we're gonna go ahead and finish this off. I can't show you anymore. That's it, bam. So yes, the off-white blazer in the next few shoes, some of them are going to be off-white and that is because I love the collaboration and all the shoes that came out with it. I did end up selling the blazer. I got them for retail on the sneakers app. Thankfully, the All Hollows Eve, the black pair I actually bought as well. I ended up selling both of them. I, I love the shoe and it's one of my favorite shoes of the year, but to me, I tried to pull them off and it was a very hard thing to pull off in my opinion. And I kind of regretted selling the All Hollows Eve after I did because I sold them to get the black pair, but then I wanted the All Hollows Eve back and I just haven't bought them because the prices have been varying but i do love that shoe so much and i think that's a pretty good spot for that number four number three is actually going to be another air force one it's an off-white air force one it's the best of both worlds this one just recently came out i actually got them in a mystery box i actually also got another pair that still hasn't come in yet from another place i want to raffle and i they are shipping it to me they're not it was not like a local pickup so i'm waiting for that to come in still but i have this pair right here from the mystery box you guys open this up with the off-white boxes they're inside out which is just such a cool concept to me except one of them we're going to show you inside has this paper here has off-white logos nike ink if you actually turn this box inside out it will be a regular nike box which is really cool when you open it up there are two layers of paper pull out the first one here and then you have the shoes themselves right here black air force one again the inside there's not much going on this paper here it's pretty cool that it has off-white logos on it and i was like wow i'm so hyped on this but after a while i just forgot about it because it sat in the box inside of the box you can see again it's inside out super dope love that and then the outside is just the cardboard like it would be inside out 
style for any other shoe. Also have the quote Nike swoosh here, and this varies based off of which shoe you get. This shoe comes with a second pair of laces that are white and they're like a thicker lace, and then it has an orange shoelace. On the shoe itself are a pair of blackish gray laces, and they're a different material. They're not like your standard lace. The deconstructed look says quote air on the side. This is a shoe that I saw Virgil wearing a ton. I'm still undecided on what to do with these because I wanted to make the money back for the video that I did, but also really love this shoe. Size 10 and a half. And I just think Virgil killed it this year. And apparently this was like the last of the off-white 10, which would be crazy, which means the value will probably go up on them. Not much to talk about with these. You also get a blue zip tie with these rather than on most of them, you get the red ones. So number four for me, Air Force One. And yes, this is the last Air Force on the list. So my top three are going to be a tie. Number one, two, and three are all number ones to me in my opinion. I have two of them right here. And then I have another one that I'm going to cut back to. First off, let me show you one of them. And that is going to be which should be on everybody's list, I think. It's the Sean Witherspoon Air Max 97 One. The reason why I think that this is one of the best shoes is because Sean Witherspoon is somebody who is a part of the world. He has open stores. I've been following round two for I don't know how long. I've been watching their hour and a half long, two hour long videos that they do on YouTube. It's just fun to sit back and watch the reselling and buying, all that different processes. And to be watching that and see the competition going on and him actually get selected to make this shoe, I know this is him remaking shoes that have already come out, and that's an argument about one of the other shoes I'm gonna talk about. But most of you guys probably know this. This is a dead stock pair of the Sean Witherspoon. On the inside, it says more air right here. Long words, I don't wanna read that whole thing. You got the Nike print right here, which is just the retro vibe. Pull out the paper on the inside, and we have the Sean Witherspoon with the all corduroy all around. The 97 one, this shoe is just one of the best of the year. The inside does not have anything else besides the paper and a few different pairs of laces. I love the outside of this box too. You know, you got the peeping of the corduroy all throughout with the Nike logos. Retail was 160 on these and it's just such a beautiful shoe. You've got the different corduroy colors from the vintage Nike hat. You've got this removable little patch up here and a lot of people actually make custom patches for this so you can kind of replace that. Dead stock pair. I already had a used pair and I ended up selling those because again, I got a good offer on them. And whenever I get a good offer, if somebody to buy them, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But a dead stock pair, Nonetheless, Sean Witherspoon killed it. Sean Witherspoon killed it. Number two, or one that is the next one, is going to be one that I actually got a few weeks ago. And that is going to be, it was like you wait and see. And then lastly, the one that I really have been waiting for for a while. I mean, it hasn't been out for too long, but the Union Jordan 1. Ever since Sean Witherspoon and Union did that little fake video on the shoes. We got OG Union from like store openings and all of it. Like, I've never seen this shit, yo. There's no way it's real. I just, uh, something about it. It's just really cool. Mixing the two different shoes. So we got these separate Jordan 1 box. Now these at one point were going for $1,000 and they were down. I think they're down to about seven, $800 at this point. It's just like a vintage, darker yellow outsole. Pretty soft leather, nothing crazy. And just kind of like that little off-white type color laces are just kind of that vintage vibe and I just I love it and it's got the red top also comes with the uh, Jordan tag right here which is actually kind of cool you can see it says Union LA right there these are keepers these are ones that I I'm excited to wear just because it's a unique shoe and I really just like unique shoes in general now, yes, the Union Jordan 1 comes in. It's not my number two. It's mixed in with these top three. Now, you guys saw I don't have the pair with me right now. So I had the blue pair. I ended up selling them because I wanted to get the black pair. And the black pair is taking forever because the seller who I bought off of StockX is taking forever to ship it. So I would say the blue pair, as far as overall, is one of the best. But I feel like the black pair is definitely easier to wear. So that is going to be that for the number two or just the top three spot. Then my last shoe that I'm going to show you guys, and I don't know if you can tell what this is, which I might consider my number one wearable shoe and this is the different box now i did buy one shoe this year that is my top purchase of the year but this shoe did not come out this year and that is the off-white jordan one in the chicago colorway but this simply didn't come out this year and it still is a pickup for me this year but i was just now buying it so i figured i'm gonna do this one because this one came out this year and i bought it this year this shoe right here released in atlanta one day and i decided to buy it off of somebody who had it for 600 dollars, which was uh it was at the market value at the time luckily the prices have gone back up and the cheapest price you could buy is 725 but they're going for around a thousand dollars now that is the unc jordan one which favorite by far box colorway i bought this shoe and i was and eh, this is the only jordan one that i would want to afford because i was getting it for six hundred dollars the box itself is just so unique with the cutout here I, I know that the white colorway i believe has the exact same box but you can kind of see the little peaking of the shoe you open it up of course this is the jordan one box with a little bit of a cutout it has off-white air jordan one basically it has what it says on the shoe a little plastic over it and you go ahead and open this up take this off 
You got a couple different colored laces. You have the UNC color, you have orange, and you have white. And then we pull out the shoe itself. Mine are definitely warm. This is a shoe that I wore so much, and it's a shoe that I still have not wanted to let go. And this is one of the shoes of the year that I just can't make myself let go. The way that the colors come together, putting the orange laces with a little bit of orange hits here, the deconstructed look. It was the first off-white Jordan that I was able to buy and able to acquire. I'm just so happy to be able to have these because I got them at a good price. The price has gone back up. I would like to get another pair and maybe sell these get a dead stock pair and kind of have something fresh because I wore these so much but one of my favorite shoes I did not expect the colorway to be something that I love so much because it is a little bit unique but I found it is such an easy shoe to wear in my top of the year I wanted to add one more thing in here about my top shoes of the year now I was going to put a pair of converse the off-white converse there's too many off-whites the white ones this year I didn't really like as much and I was going to put a pair of, like the Gore-Tex converse but I just wasn't in love with them that much and there wasn't any vans that stood out to me this year that I just love to put in the list now there were the fear god vans but i believe that those came out last year in 2017 so there were none from those two categories there that just made me put them on my top list and for the fear of god nike basketball sneakers i really do like the shoe but they have not made me i don't want them enough to go spend 800 on them and that's why they didn't make the list because i don't physically own them and i haven't owned them so i won't put them on the list if that's the case now i know some of you guys might not agree with me on my picks for this year you might not agree with me on any of my picks for this year but what i want you guys to do is let me know your top five shoes in the comments down below because i would like to see what you think are your favorite shoes of the year and see how it compares to me now i know i had a lot of air force ones i had a lot of off-white that is what i've been into this year and it might be hype beast to me to do that i definitely think it is hype beast to me for the off-white because there's a lot of hype surrounding all the shoes but as far as the air force one goes i just found myself leaning more towards that silhouette of your shoes so much more this year for some reason it's so easy to wear with how the current things i'm wearing so let me know in the comments down what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time this is harrison signing out